Hello, this is Daniel Blaze. My name is Daniel and welcome to yet another Minecraft video in which we're going to be optimizing BSL shaders. That's right, in this video we're going to be taking a look at BSL shaders. I am actually making this video because I've been getting a lot of comments from people actually asking me to do this video where they have a decent computer a decent laptop like low to mid-end but they can't really run bsl shaders because they don't know how to optimize it and set it to the lowest settings possible and i can definitely see that being difficult so if you are actually looking for this tutorial then of course before we get started hit that thumbs up i would sincerely appreciate that of course if you're into minecraft content like this and you're new to the channel then be sure to hit that big red subscribe button and hit the bell notification right next to it now one last thing before we get started, of course in this video I'm not going to show you how to install Optify and how to install BSL shaders. If you are looking for a video like that before you get started on optimizing BSL shaders, then check out the video that will pop up in the top right corner right now. I've made a tutorial explaining you step by step how to install shaders and Optify, but I'm going to assume that you've already done that by now and that you're actually looking to optimize the settings for BSL shaders. So to get started, go over to options and video settings. Now there are a couple of settings here that will actually affect your FPS with and without BSL shaders. Now, once again, I've got a video about the best video settings as well. So that will also pop up in the top right corner right now. Go check that out if you're actually looking to optimize Minecraft without shaders. But if you are playing with shaders, these settings will still help you actually run shaders like BSL and maybe actually get playable FPS with them. So a couple of things are reduce the render distance to the minimum uh, chunk render distance that still works for you. So two is very, very low. But if four still works for you and it gives you great FPS, then stick to that because lower render distances will make it easier for you to run shaders. So a few other things are graphics, set those to fast. About the other settings, you might just want to watch the video I mentioned before. For now, we're going to go over to the shaders menu right here. As you can see, I've got BSL shaders right here. And there's a couple of settings here that you might actually want to adjust if you really can't use BSL shaders. So there's a couple of things like render quality, and you can set this all the way up to two. Now, of course, if you can't run Minecraft very well, especially not with shaders, you might actually want to consider turning this this all the way down to 0.5 which is like half resolution same goes for shadow quality which is actually something you can reduce and then set the render distance or the render quality i mean uh, to one now enough of that let's move on to the shaders so what you're going to want to do is actually click the shaders you're trying to run or optimize which is going to be bsl shaders for this video and then click shader options in the bottom right corner right here now there's a couple of things that the shader already presets for you so there's a couple of things that you can do to actually make this really easy you're going to want to hover this button right here and click it to switch over to low now if you click done a lot of settings are going to be set to the minimum to the bare minimum they can be set to stuff like ambient occlusion will be disabled if i remember properly and some stuff like that now like i said most settings will have been set to the lowest possible but some settings will not have been changed with this preset so that's some stuff that we have to do and set manually so stuff under lighting will actually have been set to the bare minimum pretty much same goes for atmospherics but under post effects there will be some settings that should actually still be on default values such as bloom lens flare and then the next one anti-aliasing should be turned off so not taa because that's even more aggressive uh anti-aliasing than fxaa just turn it off and vignette also turn that off i don't even know how to pronounce that in english just click done now move over to material because over here there are some settings that will still be enabled even though advanced materials will have been turned off come over to reflections and you can still turn off settings like reflections and translucent reflections and stuff like that some settings will not be rendered anyway because advanced materials have been turned off but some may actually still be um, actually taxing your system in the background so you want to turn off settings like that also parallax occlusion mapping and self-shadowing turned off and then there's a couple other settings that we can change color of course isn't going to do much so in the water menu you can actually change just a couple of things i believe you can turn the normals off just like that same goes for parallax you can also turn that off let's click done and now we're going to go over to world because that's where the last setting is going to be that is probably going to make a difference in the performance of the shader on your lower end system come over to waving blocks and just turn all of these off 
This will disable waving grass, waving leaves and stuff like that. And some other things like lanterns will also wave and swing a little bit with the shader pack, which is actually really cool. I love that feature, but it will cost some FPS. And so if you actually turn off all waving block features, you should be getting maximum FPS. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna join a world and actually show you my FPS with these great settings and then compare that to the default high profile that you will get when you first download and use BSL shaders. So I just joined a brand new world. So of course we're gonna lose a couple of FPS because it still has to generate new chunks. But as you can see, the shaders just look gorgeous this is BSL shaders. This is probably what you were actually looking for. And if you can actually see the top left corner of the screen, it says I'm getting over 210 FPS, 223. So that is actually pretty solid. And you have to keep in mind that I'm even recording what I'm doing. So I'm getting even more FPS when I'm not recording. So now I'm gonna actually roll back all of the settings and set it back to the default high profile. And we're gonna see how many FPS we actually managed to gain using these really cool low end settings. As you can see, here we are. These are the default high settings. And as you can see, I am getting 80 FPS, which don't get me wrong, that is really, really good. But my PC is not a low end PC and I actually don't really need these optimizations to get Minecraft to be playable with BSL shaders. But as you can see, I'm getting 71, 75 FPS, 80, 86, so that's great. But if you remember, just a moment ago, we had over 220 FPS. So the settings I showed you in this video actually about tripled my FPS, which is really impressive in my opinion. Imagine that could work for you. If you're currently running Minecraft with BSL shaders at high settings and you're playing at like 10 or 15 FPS, you can actually use these settings to get it to triple, maybe double, but maybe even triple and get somewhere near 30 to maybe even 60 FPS without knowing I'm actually walking towards a really cool nether ruin right here. But that doesn't really matter because that's not the point of this video. What I've been trying to show you is that with some optimization tricks, you can actually get some proper playable FPS in Minecraft that is really really great so i'm really impressed with these settings i didn't even expect them to work this well but of course if you actually got some value out of this video then be sure to hit that thumbs up i would sincerely appreciate that of course if you're into minecraft tutorials and videos like this be sure to hit that big red subscribe button hit the bell notification right next to it and then as always i will of course catch you in the next one see ya